Right, so basically I just wanted to show you um, what I've done uh, to make a cheap, well for me it was sort of free, uh, DVR. Um, basically I normally record all my FPV footage with the Runcam 3, which is a great camera. Um, does 1080p um, at 60 frames per second. Yeah, it's not a GoPro. Um, but it's a fraction of the price and it, it does what I need. I'm not a particularly great pilot at the moment, so uh, maybe I'll get one at a later date, but for now this does just great. Um, but I also like to record my DVR from the actual FPV camera, which is a uh, Runcam Swift 2. Um, now, I thought about buying a DVR and connecting it up to my goggles and doing all this or making a or buying a receiver to put on a tripod and there's many options that you can do but like a lot of people the first thing I started off with was a set of Eshin RD2s which to be fair they were they were great, like they done me really well. Used them from a tiny whoop. Um, but they're big, they're bulky, they take up a lot of room. Um, and I've now since moved on to a set of Fat Sharks. Now, these Fat Sharks are the Attitude 2s. Um, so, for any of you that know about your Fat Sharks, you'll know they don't normally come with a faceplate, which I've added. And they don't also come with a receiver, uh, a diversity module. Um, which I've also added. Um, that was a reasonably easy hack. Had to open the case, cut a hole in it, unsolder the um, original receiver module that was in there, solder a new one, um, and they work. You know, brilliant. They're they're brilliant goggles. Absolutely love them. Um, I will say one thing though: if you own a set of Fat Sharks and you do not have an Armaton strap, buy one. Literally buy one. They are so comfortable. They're brilliant. It, it makes the goggles feel lighter on your head and more comfortable. So anyway, let's get back to what, what this video was actually about. So the problem with these is, because they're the older Fat Sharks, they don't have a DVR built in. So, being resourceful, I thought, right, what can I do? How can I make my own DVR? So as you can see, my old set of goggles has been cut up, and I just wanted to show you how easy it was to do this. Um, so basically, when you open them up, it's gonna be a bit difficult, everything's gonna fall over. When you open them up, you get the two halves. Obviously, the two halves are still attached to here. Um, so when you open them up, it's like, uh, that and this edge round here gave a perfect line just to be able to cut all the way around with a trusty Dremel cutting tool. Um, so basically all I did was cut it, cut it around the other side and screwed it back together. These things are held in together with four screws, one here, one on the opposite side and one there and one there so now this unit is is perfect um, it's got a, a reasonable quality screen um, it's certainly good enough to be able to watch the videos back because I like to watch them back when uh, just to be able to like see what I've like made a mistake um, like how I can improve what things I need to improve on etc etc um, without having to get the laptop out hook it up to the HD camera transfer files etc etc I can just quickly look through delete the ones I want to delete and, and watch the ones I want to watch etc etc um, I think this is a great way of doing it because a lot of people have got me sat around and like me they were just sat in a drawer doing nothing. They weren't really worth selling, um, but I didn't want to throw them away. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of video footage from it. Uh, if I can find the play button, which I believe is that one. And that is at one time speed. Not quite sure what's going on. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it records. Um, playback video just perfect um, obviously the edges around here need a bit of a tidy up but I literally haven't done anything from that yet um, 
but it's just so, uh, a way to reuse them. Oh, there's my girls. They both come with me. They've both got a set of fat shots for themselves so they can actually watch as well. Um, so, yeah, it, it, you know, it's just a, a really good way to be able to reuse something that effectively would have just been set in a cupboard. And it's actually a pretty neat job. Yet yeah, it still needs a bit of tidying up. I will give it a, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll strip out, I'll take the SMA connectors out, take them apart properly um, and clean all the edges up so it, it looks nice. Um, um, the screen is a bit sensitive, so if you touch it, it gives one of those. And I was considering using the original Fresnel lens out of it. Um, it's a bit covered in gank at the moment because it's been sat on the table waiting for me to do this video. But also, I don't know whether you'll be able to see this on here. That's a really bad FPV footage. When you put it on there, it actually gives a nicer colour to the picture. Um, but that's just something that I'm not sure whether I'll do or not. But I will put something on there. Um, and, you know, you can... I've had to use converters because these are RPSMA and all my antennas are SMA. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I've had to put on there. But this now gives me the option to record and do everything I want to do. So I'll switch over to AV. Plug in a battery. Um, and... That is fully working, that's me. So, I mean, it works really good. It's a really good idea. For anyone that's interested in my setup, it's a Armiton Chameleon. Armiton umps with the thumb screws, which are absolutely brilliant, makes changing props so much quicker and easier. Um, I've got a genuine um, F4 Omnibus, it was it an Omnibus F4 Pro V3, so on the SD card, uh, the Runcam Swift 2 30 amp Speedix um, ESCs, which I do plan on changing out for some. Ones that will run D-Shot 1200, but I'm not sure whether I'm, I'm sold on that or not yet. Um, the Triumph Stubby. Um, that is the XSR, no, the XR4, I think, D-Pinned receiver, um, FR Sky, because I'm on user Tyrannus. Um, and then the batteries I use are actually uh, Tattoo Gen 8, uh, 1550 Ma packs. They're uh, three cells, so that's actually one my daughter uses, which is why it's got the pink fluffy unicorns. <laughs> um, but I actually love pink, so mine are all covered in pink tape randomly enough. Same pink tape as I've got around here. But yeah, who'd have known you can buy pink duct tape? But yeah, basically, just really wanted to share that. Um, I, I had actually, while I'm here, I had actually been using this, which is a great device. It's an OTG device that plugs into your mobile phone. And you can record all your DVR. For one, it doesn't have diversity, which isn't too much of a problem. For two, it chomps your phone battery. Um, and I'm using a Galaxy S7 Edge, a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, that's it. And there's a few different apps out there, and I get glitches, I get grey screen, I get freeze ups all the time. And it was just becoming, uh, I put a decent aerial on there and everything. Um, but it, it was just all of the apps out there just seem, some people have great, great luck with them. Uh, others just don't. They're so hit and miss whether your phone will work with it. There's other people out there with exactly the same phone as me, using exactly the same OTG device as me. And it just does not work. Um, which is what got me thinking, you know, I need to, I need to make something. Um, but the only other plans I really have for this is there's a bit of a uh, spare space in here and I plan on instead of running it from this which is a homemade pack I made that's 418650s running it in parallel series so it's 7.2 you know, 7 volts or 8.4 fully charged um, uh, but I don't really want to have to run it off these because I've got loads of proper you know um you know proper lipos i just want to run it off the packs i'm using 
Um, so it doesn't use too much power. A couple of packs in the day, you know, it's going to last all day on a couple of packs. So the plan is to stick a Beck in there so I can run it off of a 304S LiPo. Um, so yeah, basically, if you've got an old set of goggles laying around, you're never going to use. Why not just cut them up, make a DVR, um, and and you can actually sit and watch them back at your own leisure and not have to connect up to laptops, etc., etc. Um, and actually there was one other modification that I'm going to make this is for a tripod stand and it used to go in the bottom of the goggles there it's just a little brass insert I'm going to take that out of there drill a hole slightly smaller than the insert heat it up and then push it into the bottom so that I can actually tripod mount it while I'm out so it can just sort of sit wherever you know you get the idea I can sort of move it around get you know but I mean it's great it's running full diversity not just antenna diversity um, so yeah I just thought I would share that with you if you guys want to see some FPV footage I will I'll start uploading some videos again I'm not doing too much high voltage anymore because I just cannot do it which is why I've changed to build in smaller electronic things because high voltage is just heavy uh, and I can't be doing that anymore so it's you know this is my new hobby I still do high voltage and there will still be some videos coming at points but um, not like they used to so yeah if you you know if you want want to see videos of the FPV footage then let me know if you need any help with doing this or converting things backs um, filtering for I mean, oh, that's another thing that's running the Unify Pro HV video transmitter um, you know anything like that help wearing up flight controllers to, you name it if I can help I'll help so yeah leave comments uh, if you haven't already subscribe subscribe and let me know what you think I hope that sort of covers everything and happy flying